During shared decision-making, patients and clinicians discuss potential benefits, harms, and limitations of screening before the screening referral. This conversation should be tailored to the patient's participation and understanding. A high-quality decision support tool is very helpful and may be shared with the patient online before their visit, but patient counseling is also important. Clinicians can help explain the risks and benefits of lung cancer screening in simple, clear language. Confirm with your patient that he or she understands these considerations. A shared decision-making conversation will also include an elicitation of patient preferences and values. Ask what a patient thinks about what you have just discussed. You might say, we've talked a lot about lung cancer screening and some of the possible harms and benefits. What feels most important to you right now? When you reach a decision together, you need to confirm your patient's understanding of the action plan and next steps. This discussion doesn't need to take much time. To limit the time required in the visit, education about lung cancer screening could be provided to the patient in advance with videos online, such as from the GoTo Foundation for Lung Cancer. If your patient decides to go forward with screening, it's important to reiterate that this is an annual occurrence until they no longer qualify, either because of age or length of time since they last smoked. However, a shared decision-making conversation won't be required before the next annual screening to have the scan reimbursed by CMS. If your patient decides not to be screened at this time, CMS will still reimburse you for the shared decision-making conversation. When you feel it's appropriate to discuss lung cancer screening with the patient in the future, CMS will reimburse you again for shared decision-making counseling, provided you still include and cover all of the required shared decision-making elements for an eligible patient.